I'm going to screen record a handful of images that I took in the past few days. I turned this down for yesterday. Now they usually, well lately they've been sending me a Friday night offer and I had to say no yesterday. I had to stay home. So I didn't take this and they get used to you saying yes all the time. Now here, I was up. I had the phone in my hand. I didn't get the five minutes to accept or decline. So I reached out and they said it was already taken. I usually am not up that early, but I happened to be up. And I said, let me review it. Let me see where the Dunkin' Donuts is. It's a, it was a $49 payout. And I did tell them no order was showing in the app. And they wrote back and they went, yeah. They wrote back and said, yeah, thank you for the heads up. Have a nice day. You know, I feel they take it personal sometimes when you're not readily available when you usually are. You don't have to say yes every time. Now let me go back to this. This was Spark a few days ago. And I called a business to make sure that they were open. Because in the notes, it says, call me if the office is closed. Do not deliver if the office is closed. It was the middle of the day. Only delivered in business hours. So they were open. He was very kind, very nice. But I didn't want to waste my time driving someplace and a business being closed at 4 o'clock. You know, it does happen. I, I wrote, and I wrote, this is Walmart delivery. I'm texting to ask if the business is open. In the notes, it says to not deliver. And they did text me back and said, yes, we're open. This was ridiculous. This was tonight. I did work tonight. At least I broke $85. I didn't go out until about five-ish. I even stopped at my place for 20 minutes in the middle. I stayed very close to home. But this is one of the offers that Uber is sending out. It's just one of the many. Three drop-offs. And this is from Sephora. $6.40. And they want you to drop off probably over $100 worth of product. Because that's not a cheap store. Three drop-offs. $6.40. I didn't take it. Oh, and customer verification on top of it. No, thank you. One of the many Grubhubs I received tonight, $2.15. Now, I did okay. I completed three deliveries with Grubhub, and I earned almost 50 bucks. But I held out until they sent the right offer, and I didn't drive a lot of miles. And one was a shop and pay at a local CVS. I was right down the street, two items, five count, 1.6 miles. $11.21. Now that was worth my time. I just picked up a few items. That was it. This. I took a picture. Essential energy accelerates metabolism. Burns body fat. That seems to be the newest thing. I wasn't aware of that with this product. So they got four of them. And I really do like shopping with the Grubhub app. I like the way I took a picture of a product as a replacement. This was the default message. I didn't type this. Hi, this is your Grubhub driver, Michelle. CVS is out of Ocean Spray, 100% cranberry juice cocktail, 64 ounce. Would you like any of these items instead? And they, they only had one left. And I wrote, okay, thanks. And the guy wrote, yes, that one is good. And I drove it down the street. I really do like shopping through the Grubhub app. I hope to get more like in food stores instead of just CVS's. It seems like twice a week I get a CVS with Grubhub. I wish I could get more. I took off Friday. Last week was just okay. And I'm happy I came out tonight. I, um, if you watch my other videos, I'm very excited that I finally at a place with my online business. I'm just going to soar from now on. 
So I decided to go out to get away from the computer. It really is a huge weight off my shoulders and my mind that I can enjoy the work online instead of always learning and struggling. I know I'll still learn, but the hard part's over. I mean, when, when your brain, when you have to think that focused, I was like, this is it. I have to make decisions. It's just a, a weight lifted and you get back time. So I decided to go out. I broke $85 with Grubhub and Uber. I'm still waiting for a couple of tips. And I thought I would just get a good to go, too good to go. They had one left right down the street from where I live. I thought I'd give it a go. I've been here once before, Montana Brothers and Merrick. And I hope to get a few slices of just regular pizza. Nothing too fancy, nothing too gourmet. <laughs> overkill even though it's delicious so that was my week average week in the middle of the week i struggled it's it's harder to earn income but tonight you know for the time i went out i didn't go far i even took a 20 minute break i stopped at my place and used my own bathroom and took a break and at least i broke 85 bucks so I figured put together the video while I'm waiting in the parking lot. Now I could go in. So that was that. Until the next video clip. I'm not sure if I'm going to work tomorrow delivering. But I'll definitely be out on Monday. And even if I don't receive a delivered. Either way I'll be out on Monday. And just keep pushing forward. I just feel like a weight. I mean... I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an internet marketer. I've become an influencer. I teach. That's pretty cool. And I'm an independent contractor. I earn money, steady part-time income, working the gig apps. No ships, no ships the past few days. I, I wasn't on their timetable, but there were offers there. But I wasn't out and about when they showed a decent offer. So maybe this week, maybe I'll get a few. That'll be good. Until the next video clip. Have a good one. Bye, everybody.